Well, here we are on this fine day. I have my Mega Milk shirt, nice and rich shirt. I have my Mega Milk shirt. So, shirts. Here I have my Mega Milk shirts. There, got it right this time. I think you know what entails here. Yo, can I get a like for saying shirt correctly here? That voice, apparently, whatever I was trying to do there was very hard for me to do. I also, you will notice that my beard is very, very thin. I messed up and had the trimmer on the lowest setting. So this is about the closest you're gonna see me to me being cleanly shaved, ever. Unless some freak accident happens. But hey, before we get into that, I'm sponsored today by my own Booba Mouse Pad. Yo, Cheeto, roll that awesome skit that we did there. Just, just a snippet of it. And that she could be yours. Watch out. Wow, my arm fits so comfortably in this nice, soft, cushioning, sleek design. So get yours today, along with other things such as prints, keychains, and body pillows. Now, time to explode. Wait, huh? Ah! That's right, you can own your own Lily Booba Mouse Pad. Just on the Lost Paws merch shop, check it out. All right, now let's get to it. Off-brand riders, penetrating a woman's cervix feels very pleasurable. Everyone who understands the human anatomy, pretty sure it doesn't. <laughs> Thank you, Keanu. Wise words of wisdom. That actual SpongeBob movie was very good. I don't understand why you know, like, off-brand riders, they try and get away with literal murder in their like penetration scenes. And it's just like, that's not how human anatomy works. But you know what? That's why we watch anime because it's not real, it's fantasy. Off-brand watches when they found out women need more than just penetration to fluffgasm. Um, those bastards lied to me. <laughs> well, actually, um, actually, educational purposes here pushes up glasses. It's about like, I think one in three women uh, can do it with just, uh, the lucky ones can do it with just the penetration. However, there's a lot more that, you know, have a little bit of trouble, need some extra help. I'm no expert though. I, I think that was in a book. That book could, could be completely wrong. Maybe I'm stupid. So the sauce of 412574 and the NTR tag coming towards it and it, sh well, it just shatters. All right, what is this sauce? You're dead wrong, you freaking donkey. <laughs> yeah, she, she anti-NTR'd. Yeah, she got rid of a guy out there that was trying to take advantage. Hey, you know, that's actually pretty good. It's just a nice, Tone tomboy taking care of the situation. Not much more you can ask for out there. Even a little bit of Gordon Ramsay. Me wants to order a steak cooked rare and the chef following local health and human resources regulations is no, you can't do it raw. I don't know why I'm sounding like Chandler Bing. No, you can't do it raw. <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta cook it a little bit there. You can't make it too bloody out there. Otherwise, you know, you might get some nasty diseases or something. Hey, what are you doing? Get you snatched against Charlotte. Stop playing with the PS5 and start playing with my Fluffy instead. Bravo 6 going dark. Yeah, there's times out there when, you know, lady wants your attention, but you're gaming with the boys. And then there's things that they gotta do in order to get your attention. Can't blame them. I can't believe Union gets bullied this much. Maybe the Dogens treat her be better. Meanwhile, the Dogens. Ow, what happened to me? I remember that the. Oh, I got to the market and then. Um, Mrs. Union, is there something wrong with me? My body feels, well, that is, um, how should I say this? Based from our evaluation, it looks like you miscarried as if, like, the baby rejected your body. It's absurd, we couldn't believe it, but it... Jesus! Yo, how far do you guys want to hurt this poor girl? What is legit wrong with you people? You are cordially invited to fluff my booty. Such... Elegance. <laughs> I mean, who really just says it that politely? You're cordially invited to go to my taxes. Like, it, it's just, no matter how you put it out there, it's just kind of, just kind of weird. Well, it's that guy that loves doing those uh, Gajinka Minecraft girls, but they seem strangely eerily, eerily similar to a uh, off-brand thing out there. And well, there are no accidents. No accidents indeed. Man of culture, to say the least, out there. You gotta get your inspiration from somewhere out there, even if it's not the greatest. So, I mean, the Dark Elves are pretty good, but the, the what happens to the... You know what I'm saying. That strange deviant art off-brand in... Ooh, what's this? Eight-year-old me searching innocent fan art, my favorite characters. 
Honestly, yeah. <laughs> deviant art um, definitely was deviant. Still is kind of deviant. You know, like I, every time I revisit that place, that cursed place, it's filled with all sorts of strange, strange fetishes. Although there is some nice art, obviously, but um, you know, that's just one of those places where I just don't want to go anymore. When you improperly censor an arm, and there's Gura, and she's, oh, she's Yang on an arm, okay, but then you, well, people who had a dirty mind, ah, you tricked me! <laughs> it's kind of odd how you would censor an entire arm. I mean, I, it's hand-holding, but in a cat level there. Anyway, the new Holocure game's looking pretty good, and the fact that they're also putting the Hololive girls in Among Us. That is also something that is happening. That is very odd. So girls in off-brand be like, dang. <laughs> She's taking like a milk bath or something out there, but why she got her makeup still on? Like I'm more upset about a girl like bathing in her own makeup. That's just like, why would you do that? So let me try to understand this. You want us to have fluff and cosplay like in one of those off-brands you watch? And we'd be like, my goals are beyond your understanding. I mean, yes! Yes! What else would the- Yes! That is exactly what you want! Yes! Put on the main outfit, please! Fellas, get you a lady that can do both. Cooking you a nice meal. Very nice. And... Oh. Well, I don't know about that one, Chief. I, I, don't, I don't know about that one. Shady websites and the off-branded main character being surprised at an Hypnosis app that it's obviously offering. Here you go, buddy. I'm sure everything's gonna be... Okay now. <laughs> yes. Where are these Hypnosis ads? And some of the times it's just like bull crap anyway. Like, oh, you have a Hypnosis ads? Oh, it's totally working. Wow. Like, yeah, they just go along with it. Master, master, let's have cross-dress fluff. I'm a top, right? Uh, I'm a top, right? <laughs> Looks like Astolfo's gonna put that monster energy drink to good use out there. Yep, it's gonna get a lot of that monster energy drink. I also find it funny how they use Concoli uh, cosplay. <laughs> good job, Princess Ingo, as always. Anime father, mother, daughter trios are so wholesome. Tagaki, uh, skill teaser, and then, of course, Spy X Family, and... Well, if you go anywhere near that kind of realm out there, you, you would know that that one's not very wholesome in the least, that last one there. It's a shame, too, because I have a weakness for pink-haired girls. Me trying to take the story seriously, and then the fan service out of nowhere just can't help but look at it. When it's presented so beautifully in front of you, how could you not stare at something? I feel like it would be criminal not to just enjoy the moment, all right? I'd... I think you can take a story seriously, and there's some fan service in there too. I mean, One Piece does it pretty well. There's plenty of fan service in One Piece. I mean, Zoro's got his shirt off half the time. I, I, I mean, Nami shows a bunch of her other stuff. Wow, wow, what am I talking about Zoro? <laughs> this is kind of weird. So expectations of a bunch of wolves surrounding this poor innocent lady, and um, later on, not today, as she's just destroying all of them. Oh wow. Holy smokes, when you're not a furry. <laughs> so, deep voice, tall, muscles, full of beards, being scared of it. But then, as oh. Well, not everyone's perfect. What can you say, boys? There's things you don't need to know. There's just things you don't need to know about. So, how many rounds should we go for? And then me, after the third round, oh, shucks. It seems my lightsaber ran out of juice. <laughs> I forgot his name. Hubert, I think from Family Guy, something like that. Man, what a what a character. What what a character. Look what I just spied on as he looks into yours backless. Oh. We're entering fetishes levels that shouldn't be possible. I mean, yo, I, I saw a lot of fan art of yours backless dress. A lot of people really liked that. I thought that was that was nice. I'm just gonna say that was that was nice, and he's actually is spying on the family now. It's spy X fams indeed. What do you mean a cute mermaid in the dungeon? But you have a feet. Oh my god. I guess that would pose a problem. I mean, maybe some people are into the mermaid feet. I don't. I don't know, man. Would you pick up a girl in the dungeon, man? That guy he freaking picks up all the girls, literally. So he just adds them to the harem. I'm honestly impressed how many women Bell Cranel has. It's just. It's getting to ridiculous levels. Regardless though, 
I am gonna call it here. Hope you guys had some fantastic time and some off-brand memes. As always, thank you so much for sticking around, being awesome. The series gets me in trouble from time to time, we all know that, but your support here is what makes this all the more worthwhile. Big shout out to you guys, and I hope to see you beautiful sons of guns again next time. You crazy mother...